Hey, Frank, to start that fourth quarter, uh, what made you stick with that bench lineup, stick with Kuz, who'd been struggling, and keep both LeBron and AD on the bench? Well, you know, they had a, a strong finish to the third quarter. Um, you know, I think that that unit, the five-man unit that was in there, Quinn, Alex, and uh, Troy, Kuz, and, and Dwight, you know, they deserved the game ball. Obviously, they turned the game around with that big run in the fourth. Uh, JaVale had some strong minutes toward the end of the third. It was also a factor in, in help us get, get a little momentum. And, um, you know, obviously our, our big guns took us home. But, um, you know, AD was in foul trouble. Braun was exhausted. I wanted to get, you know, both of those guys needed to, needed to stay on the bench and other guys needed to step up. And they did, you know. So it was a great team win for us. How about just Kuzma specifically with it? You're trying to get him into rhythm, trying to keep his minutes on the floor to, to be able to go off like that. Yeah, well, we know he's capable of that, right? And it's no surprise to anybody. I think he had uh, you know, 12 points in the third or, or something like that, something during that stretch where he made some big buckets and, um, you know, carried us. And that's, you know, that we've been we've been proceeding early in the season with wanting to have LeBron or Anthony on the floor at all times and having Kuz back and we get Rondo back. You know, we can uh, allow those guys to, to rest more and to have uh, opportunities where they're both on the bench because um, one of those guys can step up and carry the load like Kuz did. Kind of an old NBA adage that if you can find a way to win when you don't have your best game to start, it says something about your team. Do you feel that? Did you see something tonight? Yeah, you know, I like that. Uh, you know, as as they were up big and we were trying to climb back in it, you know, our guys on the bench were, were talking about you know, we got the number one defense in the league, and when you got the number one defense in the league, you can string together some stops. And you know, we started that fourth quarter really strong, and uh, you know, gave us an opportunity to make some big shots in the fourth. Uh, your, your guards. Really, were struggling uh, against their guards and giving up turnovers early. What do you think kind of changed about about that later in the game, and, and where did those guys kind of seal that up? Well, th look, this is all we talked about for two days with the Chicago Bulls: is their their defensive activity and their ability to force turnovers. Um, they show aggressively on the pick and rolls. Their guards are overextending in passing lanes, and uh, they're fifth in the league in forcing turnovers. So, you know, a lot of times you can talk about it all you want. And you don't really feel it, you know. And in the first quarter, we 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 knew it was coming, but we didn't really handle it that well. Um, but as the game wore on, we just got a little more used to it, a little more comfortable with it, understood what we had to do in terms of ball security, and uh, we're able to secure the win. Is it nice for you to see Quinn have a game like that? Oh, it's it's. I love that kid. You know, he's he plays so hard and uh, tries and and works to to do everything you tell him to do, and he's a good player. And you know, Alex's defense has been. Uh, exceptional of late, so he's been getting those minutes. But you know, we've all been trying to make sure Quinn stays lifted, and that's all. When we came in, hey, every NBA game is different. You know, I mean, one minute, one one night you might get four or five minutes. The next night you're called upon to play big, a bigger role, and um, that was tonight for him. And he stepped up big time, had some big threes, and made some big plays. We spoke this morning about LeBron's passing, and he found Quinn in the corner to boost the lead from four to seven. Do that. Pass stick out to you at all, LeBron. I remember when he had the and one, right? I don't know if that was from LeBron. That was from LeBron. Um, yeah, I mean, that's our, our vision is to put shooters like that around LeBron James. You know, he's the best uh, driving kicker, inside out passer in the history of the league. And, um, you know, we wanted to get as many of those guys as we could. So Quinn stepped up.